Y'all ever go to a fancy restaurant and they serve the butter and the ice cream like this? There's a regular scoop of ice cream, just toss it on whatever. And then there's this, the $45 appetizer scoop at a three-star Michelin restaurant. But you see there is a very special technique to doing this. This is actually one of the hardest things for chefs to master. Take a spoon, you like push it in and then pull it out. You know, them spoons are on a mission for a perfectly oval shaped scoop of butter. You know, somehow it just makes it taste better. Now I've seen this done with ice cream, butter, whipped cream too. I feel like this would somehow be harder to shape whipped cream. Oh, that's nice. Why does she rub it like that? Oh, it's to get the excess off the back of the spoon so that when you lay it down on the bed of pudding, you don't get any straight cream specks. All right, there's, there's a whole technique to it. You wouldn't understand. They are making espresso over a bar of chocolate. Oh, is it gonna break in half? No, yo, it's gonna spill. No, you're playing a dangerous game. Y'all let it get a little too close. It's just gonna sit on top of the chocolate like a little espresso blanket. I thought it was gonna snap in half and go into the cup and have a perfectly brewed cup of mocha. You know, this is technically what mocha is supposed to be. You know, you go into Starbucks, order a mocha frappuccino or a mocha latte, and they do like four pumps of mystery chocolate, which is like 99% sugar. There is a coffee chart for this. I'm gonna educate you real quick. Afrogato, Americano, cafe a la, cappuccino, macchiato, mocha, espresso and hot chocolate. But then there's a cafe maracino. That's cocoa powder. Which is it? It's a melted chocolate bar and some coffee. I don't know, Cod added a POV where you could walk around and melee ducks. I was like, there is no way. This dude is just walking around assaulting ducks. I mean, yeah, he's doing it for a good cause. He's getting the ice off of them. You know, would you rather be frozen to death or take a little smack to the head? They're not even real ducks. They're like on a stick. That's why they wobble in like that. I don't know why I thought they were just like frozen. And then as soon as he like broke the ice away, they could move again. Totally video game logic. Oh yes, I'm freed from my ice prison. They're gonna cut down a dead tree. Oh, it's crumbling. Aren't you supposed to yell timber? It just crumbled. Oh, that tree been dead. It crumbled easier than a tortilla chip. I kind of feel bad for the tree. <laughs> <gasps> Crunchy cushions. It's like biting into a Dorito, but with your hands. Oh, that was so satisfying. I'll do it again. Another frozen pillow. Whoa. It's like all the fun of breaking glass, but there's no mess because it'll just melt away. Also, it's crunchier. I'd low-key want to sit on it. It'd be so satisfying to sit on a crunchy couch. Only if it's made of ice. I feel like some people actually have crunchy couches, but crunchy from the Cheeto crumbs. Oh man, you show that railing who's boss. You get rid of these icicles. How dare you inhabit my railing. Go on, get out of here. That was so nice. Get evicted. Oh, and then this hose. Somebody left water inside their hose. And then overnight, it got so cold that it turned into ice. And then when you turn on the hose, when they push the new water out, it just ejects icicles. DIY ice maker. That's a good crunchy kind of ice. That's better than Chick-fil-A ice. That was so nice. Can someone please explain to me why ice is so nice? That is some thick dough. Is this what a gut is? Cause dang, that's a thick girl. Beat it into some pastries. Oh, I really hope he's not getting my hopes up. A fun fact, traumatized dough makes the best pastries. You really gotta beat your love into it. Yeah, that's what my parents did to me. Oh, they're making donuts. Oh, I don't think I ever seen donuts being made this way before. They basically just go through the donut mold and then this dude hand picks the donut holes out of them. And the donuts. Oh. That's nice. That's so satisfying. And then what, they going into the fryer? Oh, when they flip them over, they're just like perfectly toasted. Got a little nice pan in Saint Tropez. By Saint Tropez, I mean canola oil. And then if you're wondering how they glaze them, the vanilla ones go through like a waterfall of icing, which like perfectly glazes everything. But what about the silly flavors? You know, strawberry donuts, pop a couple dozen on this little contraption, smush them in. Oh, so that's how they do multiple at once. You know, every time I see it on TikTok, they take an individual donut and then dip it in the icing and then sprinkle it. No, these are mass produced. It still seems like they do it with love though. See, at least they hand sprinkled. Hey, what about the rest? You missed some. I'm gonna lose sleep over those last four donuts not getting sprinkled. Oh, what about the chocolate? Bro, was hand mixing it? Isn't that like hot? Or imagine it's be warm. A little donut jacuzzi. And you gotta massage the chocolate and then pop them in. Gotta make sure to tuck everybody in, give them a little pat on the back. Thank you for making it this far. You've all done an amazing job. Oh, they look so good. And what a horrible day to be gluten-free. I would literally do anything for a donut right now. I just want you to know I'm being very brave. I've had a tummy ache all day today. One bite of gluten, I might not wake up in the morning.
Costco pumpkin pie time lapse. If you know, you know. Costco got some of the best pumpkin pies. It's a pretty solid pumpkin pie. Like you get this much pie for like $5.99. That's not a bad deal. This is Costco camera footage the day before Thanksgiving. Like you see how many pies they go through? There's gotta be like hundreds, if not thousands of pies. Oh no, where did they all go? I can't believe they sold that many pies in one day. Nothing is stopping every single person who entered this Costco today from grabbing a pie. It's like, why wouldn't you? It sucks to suck for all those people who missed out. Oh, some people put their back. Oh, those last ones went quick. Mm, there is nothing more satisfying than some crunchy hair. They do this hairstyle where it's like a slick back, but it's like cemented in place. Like, is this what the Gorilla Glue lady was going for? Oh wait, but this actually comes out. Hers was like a permanent helmet. Oh, take it out. I wanna see how crunchy it is. At least the ponytail is intact. I would be so scared to do this, like, how do you even wash this off? Oh, that's crunchy. Oh, that looks like it hurts. Like peeling off a band-aid except it's your hair practically glued to your head. Oh. You know, if it's like a band-aid, you gotta do a hard and fast, just like pull it off. No, I don't think that's a good idea. The Chinese Olympics, there's something called artistic swimming. And it's like, I've seen this in cartoons all the time, but like not in real life, where it's like synchronized swimming. But like, look how artsy this is. It's not even just like swimming. It's like they make it into art and they do it to the music. But wait, 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 come out of the water. She does a flip back into the water. How do they do it all at the same time? Like they're not even like a millisecond off. Y'all are really like in sync. Like this must take like insane talent and practice to be able to do something like this. I know y'all just saw that, but like watch it in slow motion, how they're just like all at the same time. If this is who got the silver medal, like who got the gold? What were y'all doing? They must have been doing all of this except blinking at the same time. I, I cannot believe this was just silver. Sweeping our bedroom floor. Why is there so much hair? I don't know, you can sweep carpet. <gasps> this is from one dog. The scary part is that the carpet looks clean. I think we just saved our vacuum from sudden death. You sure did. I didn't know sweeping carpet was a thing. This seems so much better. You get like all the dog hair piled up first and then you go over it with a vacuum again to get all the crusty, musty dust bunnies. I thought my dog shed a lot. That fur pile is literally the size of one of my dogs. <laughs> Ugh, that lip balm lived through the Great Depression. I still can do. Pluck off each individual hair. Oh no, they're restoring it. We're gonna start fresh. Oh, I love these TikToks where they like take old cosmetics and then make it into a new one. Oh, now we're gonna slice it up like a Thanksgiving turkey. Except it's some old hairy lip balm. It kinda looks like a little donut. I don't like it. <laughs> Yeah, it just keeps going and going. Oh, I love it when they get to the end. You take out that little piece and it has so much more lip balm stuck inside. You know what I do? I get my nail and I just like dig in until it looks like this. You know, another reason why I have nails for picking at things. I melted it into an oil and then wait till it re-solidifies. And wham bam, it is a brand new lip balm, ma'am. Like, was the formula really that good? I feel like lip balm sticks are better than these lip balm pots. I, I don't like the pots because I have nails, so it's like hard to like get your finger on it. I always have to like dig into them and then I rub it all over my lips. I prefer the stick out of an old lip balm stick. I can't believe they just made a brand new product. Oh, it's one of them juicy markers. I have them now. And they're making the Ikea logo. Okay, see, mine are not that juicy. I don't know what y'all are doing. Like these markers drink eight glasses of water a day. Have a skincare routine. Use a hydrating mask every night. I tested these out in another video. They were just not that juicy. It looks like it's printed on. There is this page called Trendy Treat on TikTok where they make freeze-dried candy. If you told me that came out of Skittles, I would not believe you. That's straight marshmallow fluff. It's literally foaming. Like they can't take it anymore. I'm confused. If you're freeze-drying it, is it crunchy or is it like soft? Oh, it's like chalk. Like what happened to that girl addicted to eating cornstarch? This is the edible version, but it's Skittles, so it wouldn't be that bad. It's literally like all the insides of Skittles somehow imploded on themselves. I'm so confused by the texture. Kind of like the exact texture of snow, but not cold. I don't know, I gotta try this. Oh, I love these videos. They roll in a bottle of Orbeez. Two steps. Oh, I knew it wasn't gonna last very long. Champagne. You see the way that just literally exploded. Could have handled the pressure. That was the most disappointing one. You know, before I could even say anything, I had high hopes for the olive jar. Glass jars are the most powerful glass anything. Glass bottles being the weakest, glass jars being the strongest. Like they could take a drop in or two, but this, this is just disappointing. 
What was that? Okay, I have high hopes for this jar. I think it's gonna make it all the way down. Just, I'm done with this. I'm sick of it. What is that, Snapple? It's not gonna make it very far. This doesn't make any sense! How does that make it all the way down? Is it gonna make it to the last one? How does that make it all the way down? Wow, in one piece. I feel like, like this deserves a round of applause. I spoke too soon. I always thought the jars were the most powerful. I don't think I've ever broken a glass jar. Especially like the ones that vitamins come in. No. Maybe pickle jars are just weaker. See, this Coke bottle, I couldn't take it. Aw, oh, poor thing fizzed itself. Finished vacuuming the trunk, gotta add a finishing touch because this is a Mercedes. There is nothing more satisfying than vacuuming. And then having the little vacuum lines. Oh, I love it. That's how you know the carpet is clean. They're gonna brush out the Mercedes logo in the trunk. Oh, I like that. That's nice. <laughs> you definitely get in a tip. What happens when you pop a pen? You know, ask the kids sitting all the way in the back of the class who'll be doing surgeries on their pens. That's a lot of ink. That thing just exploded. I don't think I've ever seen that happen. Also, I've never taken pliers to that part of the pen. There's always that kid in the back of the class that'd be taking apart pens, doing all sorts of Frankenstein experiments. Like, I didn't know like, it just explode like that. I feel like I'm too close. My eyesight should not be this good. Dirty pool, watch them clean it. You could take this vacuum and literally clean the bottom of the pool. Uh, my camera died, so I'm using my phone. So my pool has gotten really dirty and gotten really green a few times, but they have never done this. Like this like instantly cleaned it. They just put a ton of chemicals in it. And they're like, just wait a few days. It's gonna look like a swamp, but then it'll like clear up. But like nothing like this. I didn't know you could literally vacuum the gunk off the bottom of your pool. Like this is wild to me. And it's so satisfying. I don't know, Bam is like a brand new pool man. Algae wear. Pillow or human? Human shaped pillow. Can't tell if it's AI or they made a human shaped punchable face. This would be so satisfying. Just whenever you're angry, just No, do not punch face. Like button, okay to punch. Face, no, 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 no. They shaved a pineapple. But what about all these ugly little brown spots? They just plucked them out. Give the pineapple a little facial. Yeah, that's how we exfoliate. Be gone, blemish. They don't taste good either. I feel like you're taking out too much of a chunk. You're taking up too much of the meat. I like how he's holding a pineapple by his hair. Like, hold on. Just, 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 I'll make you beautiful. Oh, the pineapple looks so good after. Oh, wow. It's a work of art. It looks so good. I don't even want to eat it now. But anyways, that's all for today. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to hit that like button in the... Make sure you turn on notifications. Click, click. And I just released some new merch. We got hoodies, shirts, tank tops at ogwolfpack.com. I'll link it below. And subscribe to the Wolfpack. Oh, I love you guys so much. Thanks for watching. Bye guys.